Welcome to the Cristo Rey Network College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Nashira and I'll be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com forward slash Krista dash Ray. I'd now like to turn it over to <clears throat> a video and immediately following, we'll have our first presenter from Blackburn <clears throat> College. Oh, sorry, everyone. Welcome to the first ever Cristo Rey Network Virtual College Fair. We congratulate you students for college by attending today. We're so glad you're here. And we're glad Father John Foley is here as well. Thank you, Elizabeth. It's, it is indeed a, a privilege and, a, and a, a blessing to be able to collaborate in this uh, first ever event for the Cristo Rey Network, the Cristo Rey Network Schools. You know, all of us, all of us, students, um, teachers, parents, all of us were born with certain gifts and all we go through life trying to make those gifts contribute even more to the world we live in. Uh, this world is our responsibility. God entrusted this world to us, and it's up to us to make the best of what God has given us. And that's what education is all about. It's about, it's about taking what the gifts that God has given us, the virtues that God has implanted in our souls, and making them as effective as they can be. So education is a way of making making my contribution to the world even better. Thank you, Father Foley. So students, today your community surrounds you with over 23,000 alumni nationwide and 37 high schools in 24 states, currently 12,000 students and 5,000 of those students are juniors and seniors, just like you. We're joined by 115 participating colleges these colleges are ready to invest in your future. Some of these colleges have been partnering with us for over a decade. You'll have the opportunity, students and parents, to attend a Financial Aid 101 session offered in either English or in Spanish. If you don't attend every session, don't worry, it'll be available on YouTube, so you won't miss anything. Don't forget about the Ask Me About session. This is your opportunity to ask any question you want and to leave confident that you came and feel empowered to start your college journey. We thank you all for your commitment to your future, classes of 2022 and 2023, and your parents and guardians, students, college counselors, and college representatives. Thank you all for being here. Como una última palabra, le, pedi le pedimos al Señor que bendiga a todos los que están envueltos en, esta, en este esfuerzo de de familiarizarnos con, mejor con el mundo académico de la universidad. Que el Señor bendiga la buena voluntad y, los, y, los, eh, y lo, la, la, el deseo de todos de, para mejorar este mundo y para mejorar la, las vidas de los que nos rodean. Que el Señor bendiga este gran familia Cristo Rey. All right, um, so let me go ahead and get this started here. Uh, my name is Mackenzie Roll Kraut, and I am the Assistant Director of Admissions here at Blackburn. Um, and Blackburn is actually a school that is a lot like um, Cristo Rey. So to first start out though, uh, we have about 500 to 600 students um, annually. Um, 
on campus here um, in Carlinville, Illinois. So we are about an hour north of St. Louis, Missouri, um, and about four hours south of Chicago. So we're in the middle of the state in Illinois um, in a rural setting. We do have 40 acres of campus dedicated to our academics and 40 acres dedicated to our athletics on an 80 acre campus here. Um, we do average class sizes as well as about of about 13 students per class. So you're really getting that personalized attention um, that you're craving in college um, here at Blackburn. Your teachers are going to know who you are. They're gonna know your name. Um, you're, you're not gonna just be a number in our classroom. You're gonna be able to walk across campus and see those classmates across the quad, yell at them, um, say hello. Um, your professors are also going to be able to interact with you outside of the classroom. Um, and we're able to really give that personalized attention to our students here at Blackburn. Um, here at Blackburn, we do offer over 40 areas of study. Um, these areas include anything from um, the natural sciences, such as biology, um, and we have programs um, in chemistry that you can take um, to get to any point in biology. We have programs in humanities, so um, anything in English, um, communications. We also have social sciences, so psychology, sociology, but these are just a few examples of the programs that we do offer. Our programs here are smaller programs. Um, so again, you're going back to that personalized attention that you, receive, you will receive. Um, you're able to go to your professor's offices. So you can go to open office hours. Um, they can help you if you're stuck on, on problems or questions in class. Um, and they're really going to be able to help you figure out your career path um, as you continue on here at Blackburn. As a liberal arts school, we don't require that you come in declaring your major. Um, you can come in as a biology major and um, change your major all the way up until your junior year to be creative writing, for example. All that we require is that you have a major picked out by your junior year, and then again is where our faculty members um, and the small class sizes that we offer come in to help you figure out what you want to do. Um, it's a big decision to decide what you want to do with your life, um, and we are here to help facilitate that um, and to help you walk through your different options um, in a, an environment that is safe for you um, to explore and to look at different areas that you're interested in. If you um, are undecided or you come in and it's not exactly the way you want, that's okay. Um, as a liberal arts school, we do offer um, a, a lot of general education requirements or general education classes that you can kind of dip your toe in different areas. So if you, have, if you have an interest in biology, but you also have an interest in business, you can take a business course and a biology course, and both courses are going to um, count towards your degree. So you're not going to be wasting any time here at school. We also have um, a lot of opportunities um, through our curriculars or our, our curriculum um, to also partake in extracurriculars. So for example, our music and theater program is a combina combination of you taking classes in music and theater. However, you, you can also be um, participating in, in it as extracurriculars too. So you don't have to necessarily major in something to be part of it here at Blackburn. As a requirement here at um, Blackburn, we do require that you either have two years of a language um, for your, your Bachelor of Arts degree, or you have a minor. So our minors are almost every, or almost as encompassing of our majors as um, it possibly can be. So you have a, a wide variety of things that you can choose from and pair together um, so that you can um, get to your goals the way that you want to. Um, the reason we are so much like Krista Ray um, and their network is the fact that we do have a work program here at Blackburn as well. We are one of 10 federally recognized work programs in the United States at the college level, but we are the only institution that is student led. So what that means is that you also have opportunities of not only working on campus um, to help pay off some tuition, but you also have leadership opportunities. You can be a shift manager or a crew head, or you can be um, a department manager of one of our 12 departments across campus, or you can be one of the two students who actually run the entire program um, and move it forward. 
you have all these different op opportunities to build your resume, um, to help you get that job and that take that next step after you graduate here at Blackburn. So I did mention that um, it does help you pay off your tuition. As you can see here, um, you do get $5,000 a year to work in the work program. So what that looks like is it's 160 hours a semester, which I know sounds like a lot, but in reality, it's, it's only 10 hours a week. And you do have the opportunity to work for paid hours on top of that. So if you're looking to make a little bit more money, you can also do that in some of those leadership roles as well. But it's not only helpful to help you pay off your tuition. Like I said, you do have the opportunity to build your resume for four years before you ever step out into the real world. So you're gonna be able to work with classmates. You're gonna be able to work with staff and faculty um, and even the community here up outside of Blackburn um, will give you an opportunity to work and to grow in your professional career. You can work in positions that are directly related to your major or in positions that you just really enjoy. I apologize. I don't know if you can see me, but my lights go out on their own. So I apologize about that. But one of the major um, things about our work program as well is that we do have, uh, or it helps us to boast almost a 98% placement rate within six months of graduation here at Blackburn. So what that means is our students are either walking into a job or into graduate school within six months of graduating here at Blackburn because of all the experience they have and our great academics. Here on campus, we do offer six residence halls to live in. Um, one is all female, one is all male, and the rest are co-ed. Um, and you have a variety of different living opportunities and communities to live in within these halls. This hall pictured here is Jewel Hall. Um, it is a hall that many of our athletes will stay in just because of the proximity to the uh, fields as well as the gym and the dining hall. Um, but there are there are or halls all over campus. So on, on each end of campus, as well as smack dab in the middle of campus that can put you closer to different amenities that you might be interested in. Um, some of the student activities that we do have on campus include clubs and organizations. These are student ran. Um, and if you have an interest that we don't have um, a club or an organization that fits that interest, um, you can actually put together your own club and receive money from our, our activities board um, to help run that club and put on events. We have the Student Senate, so if you're interested in some type of student government, we do have Student Senate here on campus. And the Bernian, which is the oldest private newspaper in the state of Illinois, as well as the Campus Activities Board. So some other clubs that we have here on campus include um, Dance Club, um, we have an environmental club here on campus, and we also have a Harry Potter club on campus because we have some, several students who are interested in Harry Potter. So there's a wide variety of things that you can get in and that you can um, participate in, um, well over 35 different clubs and organizations on campus. We are, in CAA Division Three, and we do have 13 different teams, um, which are listed here. Um, our men's basketball team actually just won the conference championship this past year. Um, and if you're interested in participating in athletics in college, um, you can visit our website and go to the athletics page to be recruited as well. The arts at Blackburn um, are a wide variety. And as I, I briefly mentioned earlier, um, we do have um, extracurricular and curricular activities that you can take part in. Um, so for example, we have a fall play and a spring musical. You don't necessarily need to be in class to participate in those. You can actually just do it as an extracurricular. Um, as far as grants and scholarships go, we award anywhere from $3,000 to $12,000 based on your GPA. Um, you can go online to actually find out what you are qualified for by going to blackburn.edu slash scholarship calculator. And I highly encourage you to come visit our campus just to see what it's all about at that website. To apply to Blackburn, it's a free application. We only look for a 2.5 GPA. Um, so you do not need to send in test scores or class rank or anything like that. Um, but we are really looking for hardworking students who want to better themselves for their future. Um, so you can go online and fill out the application. It's only about 10 minutes long um, to fill that out. We also um, just launched the Common App. So if you use Common App, you can also apply to Blackburn via the Common App. And if you have any questions, um, you can go and email us at admissions at blackburn.edu. Give us a call um, or I'll put my contact information in the chat as well. So that way um, you can 
you can um, contact me directly. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, um, I will be sharing. Hi everyone, my name is Maria Rodriguez and I'm one of the freshman admission counselors here at Lewis University. I am not sure if you're able to see my screen. Okay, so um, here at Lewis University is located in Romanville, Illinois. We are considered a mid-sized university with all the sources of a big university. Uh, we have we are the largest private um, private school in Illinois, the seven largest. Um, we have about six thousand four hundred students. Um, about four thousand two hundred are undergrad, and we do have the um, graduate programs and also doctoral. We are considered a liberal arts college. Um, in a Catholic Lasallian education um, school as well. We are, we are in the Lasallian network, um, similar to the Christorate network. Uh, why Lewis? We are, um, we, our main goal is academic excellence, hands-on experience, hands-on learning experience. So we uh, help the students with uh, internships and we have a lot of uh, programs here that the students could still do a learning service uh, course at Lewis. We have um, great location, which means that we are in, in the middle of all, um, all green, but also with all the students, um, all the suburbs around here, like for example, Joliet, Bolingbrook, um, Lockport, and we are only about 35, mi 35 minutes from Chicago, the city. Uh, we also have a 97 placement rate. So um, after you graduate from Lewis, you do have the support from Lewis through the career services, but also through the department, depending on what you are majoring in too. So it, it, it builds that alum connections as well. Um, what we are, we are considered a lot of students, you know, uh, many students know us as um, the, the School of Aviation. So we are an aviation school. We do have our own airport here on campus. So the students who are in the aviation program are um, complete their hours and their courses here on campus. Um, these are our top five programs, I mean, six programs. So aviation being number one, business, computer science, criminal justice, nursing, and psychology as well. Uh, but uh, as other, as the other school mentioned, as you don't have to declare a, a major when you come into uh, Lewis, you could be as undecided until your junior year. Um, so our one number one major here is undecided. Uh, for a lot of students. So we also offer about 80 uh, plus majors and minors. So the students could double major or also um, declare a minor. Um, 13 to one, it is a student to faculty ratio. So in the classroom, you are known by your name and not by an ID number or a number in the class. And that also helps the student create that connection with the uh, professor and also the, the other classmates. 90% uh, of, our, of our classes are fewer than 30 students. So it's usually what um, some of the high schools have. So the student is able to connect that um, connection with the professor, but also with the classmates. Once a student is in their major, sometimes that number attempts to go a little bit lower. So we do have students who are in, in, in classes that are about 15 to 20 students in the class. Uh, why Lewis? So we offer, uh, even if we are considered a mid-sized university, we also can, we offer all the sources of a big university. So we offer free academic services, which means tutoring, learning services, and mentoring and advising. Um, the students are, um, it's mandatory for the students to meet with their academic advisor every semester in order to make sure that they stay on track. Um, we also have free career services, as I mentioned, once you graduate from Lewis, you will still have the support from us through the career services and even your time here. We have, we offer the honors program that focus on academic search. So for the students, research that for those students who are interested in some re doing research. We also have the success and a success scholars program that I focus on mentoring students that is for selected freshmen um, and also first general gen uh, flyers, which is one of our newest programs for students who are first generation. And we do the mentor program um, 
for, um, for those who are first generation. And then later on, they will become mentors if they decide to. Uh, we also offer uh, a pl about pl 100 plus clubs and organizations. So students have those organizations who are focused in social, but also those organizations, clubs and organizations that focus within their major, which we highly recommend the students to participate um, in those uh, programs just because they do, we, we, um, we encourage the students to start networking from since freshman year. Um, another thing that we we are we offer the students um, those who are athletes, we do we are division two in sports, so we do offer about twenty two um, sports that are in the category of division two. But in, if the student decides to not participate in those programs and as also those sports, I mean, um, the students do have the opportunity to do intramural sports and club sports and also. Um, service programs. One of the a common ones that we also have is service projects. So that is through, through uh, ministry, uh, the students do volunteer work with our community. Tuition. Um, so we do, um, we have, we don't have a lot tuition, but we do have a block tuition. So our tuition right now, we are at 35,262 um, and room and board is about 11,250. 98% of our uh, students do receive financial aid through FAFSA or even our academic scholarships that we, uh, when the student applies to Lewis, we also um, review your application, not only for the decision, but also to see if you qualify for those academic scholarships. The academic scholarships ranges between 13 to $18,000 and hope that this year it will, it will go up. So we fingers crossed for that our, our scholarship goes a little, it has an increase. Uh, we also accept external scholarships, so any scholarships that you might apply outside from Lewis, we accept them and they're all stackable, so it will not affect your financial aid or any of your scholarships. <clears throat> to apply to Lewis, we have, um, so we are, we have a free applica application. This is the first year that we have a free application, so um, we are also, um, and our application is in the common app, but also uh, we have our own application on our website. So if the student is already familiar with the common app, we will accept the common app. If the student decides to go um, do their, our application on our website, it usually takes about 25 to 20 minutes um, to complete. Um, we are going to test optional as well uh, for, um, for this coming year. So a direct, except for direct and machine um, nursing. So for nursing, the student does require to uh, submit a test board. Um, so, but the student, like I said, as it says, test optional, the student has a, the option to, um, to submit a test score or not. We are enrolling in mission um, school. So we are always um, reviewing application. If the student um, has any questions, we are here throughout the whole year. Um, if the student, um, is missing a document or anything, they will come to us. So I always say the admission counselor is the bridge between high school and college. So any questions you have, please don't, don't hesitate to contact us or contact me. I will put my contact information later on. Um, so for the application process, we would just need your application, uh, your official application, your official uh, high school transcripts. And also if you're applying with test scores or test or not test scores, um, you, we will need your official test scores, depending on if you're doing nursing or if you decide to apply with test scores. And here is just my um, contact information. Uh, if you uh, have any questions, please do not hesitate to give me, um, send me a message. I will also put my, my phone number on the, on the chat just so that you can have also if it's easier for you. Um, here's my email. Like I, I am also from I'm a Cristera, so I'm an alum from Costa Rica and also an alum from Lewis University. So if you have any questions about the admission process or the transition from high school to college, please do not hesitate to give me a call or email me to my email. Thank you. Well, hello, everybody. My name is Ruben Brumley. I'm our Senior Associate Director of Mission here at Dominican University. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm in a, uh, you might not see me, but I'm going to try to share my screen to be able to talk a little bit more about Dominican University. So 
So about Dominican University, our tagline is a small school with big results. And so to kind of explain a little bit about that, I'd like, I'd like to share our rankings from the 2022 rankings for U.S. News and World Report. We're ranked number 10 out of best regional uh, universities in the Midwest. Also number three in social mobility in the Midwest. Social mobility is helping unrepresented students to be able to be successful uh, after graduating from the institution. And then also we're ranked as six as the best undergraduate teaching, but number one in best value in Illinois. And we'll talk a little bit more of that uh, within the presentation. So at Dominican, just kind of give you some small background information. You know, our average class size is about 15 to one. Um, 10 to one student teacher ratio that you read here in Dominican, but you also have an opportunity to be able to explore different options and collaborations with your professors. And the one thing I like to say is that we don't have any giant lecture halls, even though due COVID we moved some uh, smaller classes into a bigger venue like our one auditorium, but you never have any uh, giant lecture halls here at Dominican. So you're known as the individual, not as a, a number here. Kind of give you a profile of our last class. We don't have the updated information for this upcoming class since we just started classes three weeks ago, but we brought in about 465 freshmen in both for the 21 and also for this 22 year as well, about 176 transfers. But 37% of our students are first gen students and 69% of our students are probably students of color here at the institution. As you see in front of you is the list of our top uh, 10 majors that most students go into, but we have over 50 different majors. To briefly talk about the top three, we have nursing, which we have a direct entry program, and we also have our pre-nursing program that leads into our legacy of nursing here, your junior year, psychology, which we do offer research labs for students, and then also our pre-med program, which houses underneath our biology program. But also, you might not see your major in the top 10, but it might be in our top 50 majors that we have, but also tell students that our number one major offered at Dominican is called I don't know or on the site. The good thing about that, you don't have to declare a major until your first semester of your junior year here at the institution. So if you're one of those students that want to be someone that studies in psychology on a Tuesday, but on a Wednesday, you watch a CSI and want to be a criminal detective, you definitely can do that, or watch Grey's Anatomy on Thursday and want to become a doctor, it's okay. You're still going to take some core curriculum classes that lead into the 50 different majors that we offer here at the institution. Now, what about support? You know, I know you get a lot of support at Crystal Ray, one of your Crystal Ray schools. You're going to get a lot of support here at Dominican. Uh, we have, every student that comes here has a first year advisor and also a peer advisor. And then also coming from Crystal Ray, we actually have a Crystal Ray uh, peer advising group. So once you come here, you might be matched up with someone from another Crystal Ray campus that's going to be kind of like your big brother, big sister as you navigate, you got, navigate your four years here at the institution. Also, we have a wellness center, which is very key for a lot of students now during this time of age, but then also having that research or uh, resources for writing and different academic labs that you're gonna receive here at the institution. Now, I always like to talk about student support because that's very valuable for all students, but just also students coming from smaller schools or support schools as Crystal Ray. So having our academic development and support that's within our peer mentoring or even disability services and then something that we just started last year was our TRIO program that helps all students. Uh, career development, which I'll talk about later, is always involved with students starting their first year here. I mentioned a little bit about our wellness center, but our Center for Cultural Liberation is kind of like our multicultural office we have here and a university ministry, which you can utilize that in all walks of life. So does, even though we're a Catholic university, but we're open for all religious backgrounds, but being able to call our university ministry to add uh, ministry into your academic field here. I mentioned career development. Um, I like to joke that, you know, when I was in college many years ago, I found out about career development probably about three weeks right before graduation when my dad asked me if I had a job yet. But here at Dominican, your career development office is going to be involved with you starting your first day on campus, being able to understand what the career development office all houses, being able to help out with resume writing, but also being able to get connected with different internships and also job opportunities here uh, within the Chicago area. Also, being able to get involved with 
changing the world. You know, one of our mission is being able to give back as give community service. And so we have different community-based learning projects all across not just our regional area, but all across the country, also uh, internationally as well too. So being able to give some service back of what you've learned in the classroom, being able to give that back and be able to help change the world. Now, if you're ever on Jeopardy and they ask you who are the first two colleges that ever offer study abroad, that answer is who is Dominican University and who is Smith College. But being able to say Dominican University definitely will get you some at least $800 in your daily double questions. But we offer 20 different study abroad programs for our students, uh, being able to venture off into England or France or Italy or Spain or Costa Rica. What you see here is one of our students that did a study abroad internship uh, in Nassau, Bahamas on this picture. I mentioned a little bit about our Center for Cultural Liberation, kind of always like to put out their mission statement, but being able to help fostering, you know, a community with a campus climate and being able to uh, celebrate all diversity here on our campus. So definitely our Center for Cultural Liberation is very valuable, just like any multicultural office or offices of this sort at different college campuses. A little bit about our Center for Cultural Liberation, house, housing something called our President Advisory Council being able to help train new students and also student leaders and being able to have diverse backgrounds in different clubs and organizations or even academic programs here at the institution. Now we are division three for athletics, which means we do not offer any athletic scholarships, but we have 12 intercollegiate sports teams here at our university. Uh, matter of fact, right the outside our window, we actually have our women's soccer team in competition, but we have the sports from men's women's soccer to men's women's volleyball to cross country to basketball to baseball, softball. We're actually going to start our first ever men's bowling team starting in the fall of 2022. And then potentially in the fall of 2023, we're going to start our first ever stunt team on the campus. But let's say that not competing intercollegiately uh, is your jam. You can also be part of any of our intramural programs that we offer here at Dominican, ranging from intramural bowling to basketball to flag football, which is probably the most prominent intramural sport that we offer here at, the, at Dominican. We also offer 35 different clubs and organizations here from Dominican, ranging from academic clubs like a psychology club or business club, or even special interest clubs like a gaming club or a poetry club that we have, and then different ethnic clubs that you can be a part of here at Dominican. Let's say there is a club or organization that you were involved with in high school, and we don't offer it at our college campus, you can actually create your own or start your own club here at Dominican. And it's a very easy process to offer to become a legendary student here by starting your own club organization. Now, the next step, if you really like Dominican, is being able to apply. We are part of the Common App, and we also have our own application. We are rolling to mission, so we do accept applications pretty much up to about August of your beginning of your first year here at the institution. Uh, what we look for is usually our average students come in about a 3.6 GPA, uh, usually are in the top third of their class, but our minimum requirements are a 2.7 GPA and top after class if you have a class rank. Uh, all we ask for you is submit your official application either do the Common App or a main application, and then also submit a letter of recommendation. And I know that time is running out, so I just want to give you, show you that we do have different scholarships ranging from our Catholic high school scholarship to our merit-based scholarship, and then also different departmental scholarships that we offer as well. I also want to invite you guys to visit campus, which I'll put in the chat. And then also, there's going to be two mission counselors you'll work with, myself, and then also my colleague, Ms. Rosa Valero. So thank you for participating in this program. everyone. Welcome, Crystal Ray. My name is Courtney Wallace, and I am the Director of Admission in the Chicagoland area for Augustana College. I use the pronoun she and her, and I can't wait to introduce you to Augustana College. So let's get started. 
by the numbers, um, we have about 2,500 students. So small enough for personal attention, but not too small. Um, students choose Augustana similar to, for similar reasons that you chose um, Cristo Rey. We have an 11 to one student to faculty ratio, um, making sure that uh, no one gets lost in the crowd. And this is really symbolizes our commitment to that. Our average class size is only 18. So faculty and students get to know one another, rely on one another and feel comfortable interacting with each other. Augustana has a total of 90 different areas, um, majors and related areas of study. 40% um, of our students have more than just one major. Some of our largest areas of study are business, the health sciences, elementary and secondary education, psychology, neuroscience, and something called communication sciences and disorders. In the last couple of years, some of our newer programs have included data analytics as well as kinesiology. We actually just opened a brand new building this fall, um, the Peter J. Lindbergh MD Center for Health and Human Performance, which will house our new um, kinesiology program and our um, public health program as well. We also know that college is more about more than just getting a great education. It's about having fun too. And so we do have over 150 different clubs and organizations that you can get involved with. And I'll tell you more about those here soon. But first, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our commitments. Number one, we're committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion. We value diversity. We want to make sure that every student feels like they um, belong on our campus. About four years ago, we appointed our new vice president for diversity, equity, and inclusion, and feel like that is our commitment to making sure that everyone feels like their voice is heard and important. We are proud to say, um, even though about the majority of our students are from the state of Illinois. We are really proud to say that we have students from 40 different nations across the world, 32 different states, nearly 40% of our students identify as being a student of color or um, an international student. We're also committed to excellence inside and outside of the classroom. Our students are ambitious, they're engaged, they're involved. Um, they're participating in athletics, they're participating in fine arts, but they're also having fun. And our culture here supports that. Um, it's the, the balance. So speaking of balance, um, because our students are so active and engaged, they're able to somehow balance um, their passions along with their academic, re academic um, requirements and all of their um, Things that they have to do throughout the week. Um, one in three of our students are varsity athletic, are varsity athletes. We're in the NCAA Division Three in the College Conference of Illinois and Wisconsin. So Augie athletes can be club leaders. They can get killer internships. They can study abroad and do anything else that a typical Augustana student can do um, without a problem. One in four of our students participates in the performing arts ensemble, so you don't have to be a music major to sing in the choir, you don't have to be a theater major to be um, a lead in our musical theater or theater productions. Um, there really is something for everyone and for those of you that are interested in those areas, we do have orchestra, choir, symphonic band, jazz band, theater, opera, and, and more. Um, and speaking of those 150 clubs and organizations, there really is something for everyone. Um, there's a club to train therapy dogs like you see on the screen. There's a radio station. There's a newspaper. We have our own crew team that rows on the Mississippi River. We have an active fraternity and sorority life. We have faith-based clubs, culture-based clubs, culture houses, intramurals, sports clubs, and seriously, anything in between. Um, but nothing represents balance like the NCAA academic All-American rankings. Even though this is a sports statistic, it really does exemplify what our student body is able to accomplish. Augustana ranks in the top 10 in the nation for the number of academic All-Americans that are, have been produced. And so this are, these are people who are being recognized for their academic accomplishments, but also their um, athletic achievements. And so this, again, is a great example of how our students are able to maintain that balance, and we're really proud of them. So we're only behind MIT, Stanford, Penn State, Notre Dame, Nebraska, and Emory. 
So a couple more statistics for you. 89% of our students do an internship, research, or international program, and many of them do more than one. 55% um, of our students study away. Um, and if you count in our uh, fine arts students and our athletes that travel, it's about 70%. And 98% of our students were in grad school or employed um, within six months of graduation. Another example of how our students are able to be successful. I'd like to tell you now a little bit about one of our signature programs. Um, and it's we give all of our students $2,000 to use towards uh, an international program, an internship, or research. Since 2008, we have invested $9 million in making sure that students were able to take on self-directed educational experiences. We certainly wouldn't want money to get in the way of you being able to have this cool opportunity to do one of these different things. So I hope you're already thinking about what you might do with your $2,000. So we all know that college students need help no matter what um, throughout your, your years in school. And so I just wanted to touch base on a couple of the things that we have at Augie. Um, first is you're gonna have an incredible first year advisor. We know that many students that come to us don't exactly know what, what major um, they would like. You're also gonna have a peer group and a peer mentor that's gonna help you all throughout the year. We have an incredible multicultural mentorship program for first year students of color that meets not only through orientation, but also throughout the first year of school. We also have an Augie first generation um, group that supports first generation college students. It's actually run by our faculty and staff who are also first generation students themselves or were first generation students themselves. We also have a core office who, which offers a lot of different things, but it's a hub on campus. So if you have questions about your need major, need career coaching, looking for an internship, a full-time job, um, doing a mock interview, the core is the place to go. We also know that every college student at some point needs academic help. And so we do have a student success service office with um, tutoring, we have a reading and writing center and every successful college student uses that at some point. Let me tell you a little bit about where we're located. Augustana is located in the Quad Cities, which is just about two and a half hours directly west of the city of Chicago. There's also um, an airport in the Quad Cities. So those of you joining us from all different states, um, don't worry, it's an easy flight into the Quad Cities. The population of the Quad Cities is about 400,000. So it's a really fun place to, to go to college and to be involved within the community. There's culture, um, museums, there are performances, great restaurants, shopping, and lots of internship opportunities. Not to mention we're on the Mississippi River and you can just enjoy hiking, biking, walking along the river. So come and check it out. Um, how do you join the Augustana community? We have, um, we are a holistic review process. Seniors, you can start applying now. Um, we are part of the Common App. We also have our own Augustana application. We have early decision, early action, regular decision. The only thing that you need in order to um, complete your application is the um, transcript and secondary school report. We are test optional and have been test optional since 2007. So we're really comfortable with that information. And I know my time is running out. Um, so we do look at uh, high school rigor. We're looking at all the things that you're involved in and do take into consideration demonstrated interest as part of that. Seniors apply, juniors that are listening. We hope that you'll set up a virtual meeting with us um, or connect with us at some point and come to campus to visit. Here's my contact information and thanks so much for joining and good luck with your college search. Bye everyone. All right, thank you all so much. If we could go ahead and put our cameras back on and our mics back on and um, I have a couple of questions for each of you and we'll go through the same exact order. Um, starting off with you, uh, Blackburn College as we navigate um, and I have three questions so we'll have one repeat. Um, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Um, the advice that I would give someone going through the college search process would be go to visit your college. Um, any college that you're interested in, it needs to feel like home to you because you're going to be there for the next four years. So you're not going to know if it feels like home unless you walk on and, and can actually be in the buildings and see the people that you're going to be calling friends someday. So 
that would be my biggest piece of advice is, is go visit it. See if it feels like home. Okay. And Lewis University, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? That we are um, a family oriented school. So we welcome, we are friend, also very friendly um, due to the mission that we go by the La Salle mission. Um, but also the good, the quick fun fact is that we have our own airport for students to uh, utilize their time here. And even if you're not an aviation student, um, and if you have friends who are aviation um, major, so they could, you could still fly our in the use our um, the airplanes. So it's a really uh, welcoming and friendly and family oriented campus and with our with our own airport. <laughs> uh, Dominican University, what is one myth you'd like to debunk on the college admissions process? College admission counselors are not evil. We are your friends. We're, we're your advocate. We're going to be able to help support you. So you have to ask questions so we get to know who you are so we can be able to help you navigate through the the college application process. Okay, and Augustana College, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? I would say have some fun. I know that um, this is sometimes an overwhelming and stressful process, but this is really the only time you get to pick this brand new adventure. And so at some point, take a deep breath and, and really enjoy the ride because it will be well worth it, I promise. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. We After, we, <clears throat> after uh, I close this window, a very quick five question survey will appear. Um, ensure that you sign up for more sessions um, <clears throat> and you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com forward slash Cristo dash Ray. Thank you.